Good day, folks. I'm out early in the morning here. It's a little bit damp in the woods here. I was going to go to a different spot, but I thought uh, instead of walking 15 minutes through the wet woods, I'd just walk a couple minutes through the wet woods. <laughs> now, this spot here, it's got some older stuff in it. I don't find a whole lot in it, but uh, it's just a spot I've been picking away at, so maybe we'll find something, maybe we won't. Stay here for a little while, dig around, and uh, perhaps hit another spot afterwards. Anyways, I'm going to head in and I'm going to get you up if I find anything. Okay, so i got a hole started, folks, and i got a few items in here at the moment. This here was the first one I pulled out. It's an amber cork saw. A little cube-shaped one. Rectangular. It's a slick, though. I just scraped up this doorknob, porcelain. Different. And then I got a round one down here. I can reach it. Oh. It's a, looks like a blown cork top, but it's a slick one as well. Okay, well, we're gonna have to keep digging. Still digging in that hole, folks. I'm digging around this a barrel ring or wagon wheel ring. I'm right in a bunch of uh, clam shells. Real hard digging. Anyways, popped out this harmonica reed or some sort of instrument, I'm guessing. Those Dew Brothers. Perhaps a cologne. Or a Dew, rather. Not Dew Brothers. Dew. Perhaps a cologne bottle. It's got the T on the base. It's going to be, uh, I think it's Turner Glass or Travis Brothers, which would date it between 1900 and 1930. One of those two. A little milk glass here. People that like seeing the milk glass ones. There you go. And uh, this here I just popped out. That's what I really want to show you. I'm not sure what it says. Something Germany 390 half M. I'm not. I don't know what it is. It might be the back of a glass doll head. It's kind of what it looks like. I don't know what else it would be. Kind of neat. All right, onward. Hey, folks. Got two bottles down in here, and I'm right down in the clay here now, so it's getting a little tricky going. But this one here, I think, might be ready to come out if I scrape around a little bit. I'm not sure if it's whole or not, I can't see the neck on it. Looks like a nice old blown one. But uh, thought I'd get you up while I scrape it out. I'm getting it there now. I think it's ready. You see that? I think so. Here we go. I'd say it's whole because that lip stuck. Yep. Sadly, it's just a slicker. It's a nice blown one though. It's a nice color. Now this other one, I'm going to need a lot more work to get that one out. So I'll get you back up later on. Well, next find folks. This one right here. Just pulled it out of the sidewall down in there. I don't think it's real old, but it is a neat little side embossed bottle here. Got a design up the sides there. It's a screw top. And on the base. So no cedar. Check it out. Can't quite make out what that glassmaker's mark is down here. Might just be a W, but it looks like something inside of a triangle. Not 100% sure. But no cedar. I think they were a furniture polish. 
It was kind of cool. There it is. Okay, folks, I think you can see my hole over there where I was digging in the uh, clam shells and clay. I wasn't finding much there. So I came over this way a little more underneath the trees here. Move some metal, and I got a bottle showing here underneath this wire. Looks like it's whole. Not sure what it is. Let's pick it up. Oh, we might have something decent here. It's got a swing style uh, porcelain stopper on the top of it. It's embossed. It's one of those, uh, what do they call that, Clico Club or something? Yeah, it's got the uh, Eskimo on the bottom. Cool beans. That's nice with the stopper and everything on it. here folks don't see any bossing on it but let's pop it out and see what it is ah it's broke well nothing extraordinary here folks but I think I got something yeah it's a side embossed A&P extracts bottle it's a pretty common bottle this one uh, Here's to be machine made. We find these quite often. There it is. Alright, I'll keep it though. Okay, so I just uncovered another one here, folks. And it's a nice one. Oh, it's a Heinz honey and almond cream, but it's a big one. Yep, the mosquitoes are out today. <laughs> yeah, and this is one from uh, it's a Bloomfield, and I believe the ones from Portland, Maine, are older than the Bloomfield ones. I think is how that goes. Now this one here is corkless, or screw top, as some people will call them. We like to call them corkless. <laughs> Anyways, there you go. Cool little bottle. Well, I seem to be getting into a little pocket of bottles here, folks. Just scrape this one here up as well. And it's a Father John's Medicine. Lowell, Massachusetts. It's a little one. Nice little one. Saw it full of dirt. Uh, lighten it up a little bit. Yeah, nice bottle. And I've got another amber one down in here. Let's pop that out. Well, it's a broken one. Might even have been blown though, I don't know. Anyways, that's pretty cool. I'll get a picture of this Father John's one. Well, I scraped up some uh, Red glass shards. I'll take those to those in my shards box. Don't find much red glass. And then I got a blue one down here. I see sticking out. Oh. All right, right on. Nice big cobalt blue. UD Company. I think that's United Glass. Not sure of the year. But this has, still has a lid on it. Awesome. I'll take that. Yep. Nice find. <coughs> okay. Let's keep going. Well, I'm getting out of this spot for today, folks. I'll probably come back another day, dig around some more. There's the odd okay find here. I'm going to take this here slicker I dug up. I think I got enough footage to put a video together. Um, 
there's this little perfume I didn't show. I'm going to take that. I don't think anything else here. There's some milk glass there. Somebody might want to leave that for them. And I'm going to get out of here. Later, folks. Good day, YouTubers. I thought I'd try something a little different here today. Uh, on this wrap-up, I'm going to try it outside. The wind's blowing, so I hope you can hear me all right. So let's get started. Uh, let's start off with this lovely little amber bottle. And it is a Father John's medicine. You see that all right? There we go. Father John's Medicine, Lowell, Massachusetts. Made in USA. It's a just a regular screw top, so it's probably mid-30s. Nice bottle, though. It's a smaller version. These smaller ones seem to be uh, more valuable than the larger ones. And next, we got this beautiful cobalt blue bottle with the original lid on it. Now check this out. Take that lid off. There's actually a cork inside of it. So that's kind of interesting. I remember finding the uh, Horner's bottles as well had a metal lid on them. And they also had a cork inside of them. So that's interesting. Uh, what else we got here? There's that blown bottle. Beautiful color, almost a greenish color. There's the base. No real embossing on it, but uh, a nice blown bottle just the same. There it is. No telling what would have been in it. <laughs> All right. Next we got the uh, A&P Extracts bottle. This one is machine made. That's Atlantic and Pacific Extracts. Nice little bottle. Now what else we got? This one here. The A.S. Heinz Honey and Almond Cream. I put that lid on it. It is a A.S. Heinz lid. And this one's from uh, Bloomfield, New Jersey. I believe these Bloomfield ones are a little bit later. The earlier ones are from Portland, and I think uh, they changed uh, locations around 1928 or something. So this one's probably from the 30s, and the Portland main ones are likely from the 20s or earlier. I'm not, like I say, I'm not 100% sure on the exact date though, so don't quote me on that. Here we got that Clico Club bottle with the stopper. That was kind of neat. I didn't know they had a porcelain stopper on them. And there's your base there with a little uh, Eskimo. This is a little awkward. I'm not used to uh, having the camera at me like this while I'm filming. And finally, this little, uh, well, we'll call it a perfume, I guess. Well, perfume, yeah, and that is tiny. And it's got uh, ribs on it as well. Okay, just on the face here, or the back, maybe that's the back. Maybe it would have had a paper label on it. We don't know. So that's going to be it, folks, for this one. Hope you enjoyed the video and the wrap-up and seeing all the finds. Uh, i got lots more digs coming up, so tune in for those. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay safe. Have a great day. See you all in the next one. Over and out.